All right, real quick before the video gets started, I want to let you guys know that I've got some limited edition merch coming out for Black Friday, which is today. Uh, it's going to be out for three days, so I think it's going to end on the 26th. Uh, I've got a dope hoodie, a couple shirts, a hat, um, and I'll, I'll leave a link in the top of the description down below if you want to go over and check it out. But like I said, it's super limited edition. You're only going to be able to get it for these three days. So if you want to pick it up for the holidays or for yourself or for someone else, uh, now's the time to do it. I think they came out really good. Jihi, she killed the t-shirt design and I, the hoodie's based off an old thumbnail from a Rainbow Six video, so that's a cool shout out. But yeah, hopefully you like it. Let me know what you think about it and uh, let's get to the video. All right, guys, I just loaded up Hitman 2 and I was going to jump on the next mission and apparently we got an elusive target. All right, I've never done one of these. Um, I've only got 11 days to do it and we got to kill Ned Stark. All right, I can... I can say that killing Ned Stark is something that hurts my heart because it hurt my heart when Ned Stark died. But this guy's called the Undying, so maybe he's, you know, maybe morning, maybe he can't die. All right? Your target maybe Ned Mark Stark Fink, lives again. Also known as the Undying, a disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. Oh. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or I don't have a sniper rifle, bitch. Through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself, or rig the room to your advantage. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Oh, fucking hell. So these are these are limited wait a minute. You cannot replay. If you die, it's over. You have a limited time to complete. Oh, I just got chill bump. What the fuck? So Can I smoke something up my ass? I can't. Because I haven't unlocked anything for this. Concealed weapon. Shit. Fallen rules apply. Okay, it's there's a countdown. We already saw that. If you die, you cannot retry. I got it. Once we beat it, you cannot play it again. I got it. Once you have begun the objectives, you can no longer restart. What? You cannot save your game. What? I was not. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this shit. It's fucking 1.42 in the morning. Um, can't believe I'm still awake after eating all this damn Thanksgiving food. And yet here we are about to try. Afternoon, I'm going to fuck this up. Your target oh, I'm going to fuck this up. inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take all your right. time with this one. Oh, bitch, it, it sounded like you were telling me to hurry up. And then you told me to... What the fuck did I just Dave do? Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Okay. Be mindful, though. What? He will not wait around for long. Okay. Um, can I go in? We cool? Hello. Welcome to the Hi! The Thank you! Let's shut the fuck up. I got a, I got a meeting. Dave. Ready. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. 
the special guest. That's me. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab. Hey, what's wrong with my clothes? Guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy. Mr. Reddy, you already told me that. Target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's currently waiting. Bitch, he's right here. He ain't waiting no more. I gotta go in here. Um. So I gotta whoop this dude's ass. Um. Anybody looking? Yoink. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need you to give me your fucking clothes. Shut up. Shh, shh, shh. Shut the fuck up. All right. I need. I need what you're wearing, homie. Fresh disguise. Oh, this shit is fresh. This shit is fresh. Bring your ass over here. Alright. You need a pedicure, homie. Your feet looking all fucked up. Get in here. There you go. Ah. Nailed it. Did you drop anything I might need? Probably that. Access card. Now. Nobody saw me, right? Is there cameras? Hurry up, buddy. We're running real late here, alright? Hey! Shut the fuck up! Is there cameras anywhere? Okay, there's a camera over there. I wonder. How silent is my pistol? Because nobody can see me right now. Please be silent. Please be silent. Please be silent. Put it up, put it up! Somebody's searching. He's like, what the fuck happened to that camera? Okay. How's no. this? Where'd you find that? Don't worry about it. Never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Fabe is already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. Is that the only camera? Okay, so that worked. By the way. Can't believe that shit works. This guy's with me. Looking good today, sir. I don't know what happened to that camera up there. You need to uh this call your the when we enter the room. Shut right? the hell up! I get you in. Call the call the tech squad. Get him out here. Take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, Solid. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Yeah. Stupid. The Moreno cartel is the biggest of the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Are you coming on to me? Anyway, huh? we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game face. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm so goddamn nervous, guys. Oh. I'm allowed to be here, guys. How y'all doing? I'm I'm here. I'm here for the meetings. Oh, ah! oh I'm nervous. Something different. Well, I'm fuck Mark you, Faber. Mr. Faber. What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, special acquisition gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh. No. Nope. Uh, no handshake for you. What's up, lady? Can I eat one of these muffins? It's all about I'm good, buddy. How are you? You doing all right? More, my friend. I you gonna have a conversation? Briefing to help us sync up well, fuck you too, then. The, uh, Sit down. With. All right. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem <laughs> at all. He really wants to be Mark's best friend, right. doesn't he? Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. I already well, grabbed a seat. The consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov. A relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Zukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's 
been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. Mm-hmm. This Sukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. What are you pointing at? There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Well, all right, then. Better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? What? Let's try a small exercise. Whoa. You. Whoa! Suppose you were sent to kill me. Um. We're in this meeting together. <laughs> You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. Right. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Um, let's see. I'd probably punch you in the dick. Oh, wait. Cup of coffee. You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. A medic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. I've done it before. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Um Punch you in the dick? No, that's not an option. It All right. a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Well Why fuck! Um kitchen, I'd stab in the goddamn I'm net! Table over there. Quick throw. Oh yeah. Knife through the head. Around your fucking You'd be head. Dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. Oh look, I'm a bad motherfucker. All right. I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Okay. He told me that straight to my face. Can I leave. Hey, nice job on the Kronstadt cars, man. Thanks, me. Me? Huh? I don't know who the fuck he's talking to. Am I allowed to be out here? Oh, I'm good. I want a big audience for this one. We'll hire extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show and cameras for effect. Oh my god! Their assassin in place is all down to social engineering, and that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicated, alright? Once Sukov's gone up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the assassin and get him in the elevator, and he'll take his shot once upstairs. That's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end today. I'll talk to you later. Sir, this is a restricted area. Oh shit. I'm believing. God damn it. Ha! Ah! Ah, there's too many people. There's too many fucking people. Um. Am I allowed in here? You work in weapons development too? More hey. Practical applications. Here we go. What's that? Blend in as engineer? Uh, uh, of course. There we go. V very nice. Well, um, I Where's looked it? at the diagrams you sent. Where's that file I'm looking for? Time to work on the prototypes, but I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. I want to have a look. So, the designs were... Interesting. Oh, did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? <laughs> they were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains do, do, do. the All right. nature of the work. I like things to be custom. You could say that... Can I come in spectacle there? ...spectacle is part of my signature. I didn't like the way you Very stood up. Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. Am I allowed, sir? I need it to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain. Can I come in? And it has to... Oh, he stopped talking. I'm just gonna chill right here for a minute. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man? We had some difficulty accommodating the the, the exact design requirements. <laughs> no, the, the pen's actually woven from the, the finest boron nitrate nanotube with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. That's, yeah, that's sure amazing. That will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly makes it explosive. I specifically requested an explosive pen capable of vaporizing the upper part of a man's torso. God damn! Coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is uh, extremely hard. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, it, it seems a, a little excessive, Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. Okay. There's a 
much space between waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous board. No, you need to find so, another way in. Oh sir. shit, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's alright, no problem. Disappointing. Well done is done. Shit. Have to try to I've to one more time, so help I'm sorry. I didn't know. Okay, so I'm not allowed in there. Found that shit out. So this is Robert Knox. So we just got a spy from over here, I guess. Chili. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but I will say that my is sure the chip. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely on your feet. And perhaps more important than anything. He's talking to that damn robot. He's talking, talking real, with a little, a little sexual tone in his voice. You hear that? You hear that? It's like a little bit of a, it's got like some bedroom breath. Superheroes, huh? Um, I hate to break it to y'all, but I already killed Mr. Knox one time before. All right, his daughter. Let's see. You probably be able to see her dead ass out here somewhere. She was smeared all over this fucking concrete. Huh? But it is extremely important. The explosive element is I can't see it, and you're a dickhead and won't let me see. multiple compounds from this effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it oh, nice well for instance if you were to require a, a flashier explosion the nox burns quite quickly i want to say it and doesn't produce long lasting flames but if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound It'd be like napalm dramatically after all it was originally designed to I have to say, Mr. Hume, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. All right, so we're going to need to do something in this room. I'll head back to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. So he's, so he's coming back, and his dickheads, his goons are leaving. All right. Me and you kind of look alike. And I'm not allowed in that room wearing this, so I apologize, sir. Oh, I fucking apologize. I'm only doing this because there's a goddamn there's a box right there. Drag. Come here, bitch. Get in the box. Fuck! I wanted his clothes. Oh, I can still do it. Oh yes. I thought I fucked up. What is this? Pick up Timothy U a D card. Alright. Eh. Am I allowed to be in here? I'm good now, right? You know what, just in case? I should go ahead and shut that door. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? If there's somewhere to hide your body, I'm knocking you the fuck out. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, oh, excuse me, sir. Guess what? I'm sorry. You're going to have to get choked the fuck out because you might see me trying to commit a crime. Disguise? Nah, I'm going to keep my disguise. I'm like the damn the head. I'm Billy Big Dick. That's what they call me. Ball-headed Billy Big Dick. There you go. Nah, what's in here? Pick up. Notebook on robotics. 
There we go. What's this shit? Pick up. Octane booster. Octane booster. Go ahead and hide that. Okay. Is anybody coming in? You've been not relieved of your fucking duties! Come here, bitch! Shh. Shh. Please nobody see me. Please nobody see me. Please nobody see me. Hurry the fuck up. Hurry the fuck up. Can I put two people in here? Look. Now you got friends. Alright? Y'all can be best friends in there. When y'all wake up, y'all can tell stories about... You know, how you were... Pick up some more Octane Booster. Alright. Tell stories about how you were, you know, got your ass kicked by some bald-headed dude who you thought was your boss, even though you worked with him, like, forever. We're about to pick up all this damn Octane Booster. Look at this. I got five of these motherfuckers. What can I do with it, though? Oh, yeah, let me see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's coming back. No, not Timothy. No, no, no. I need a picture of this asshole. There's guns every fucking where. What's this? Fuck! Um... Hi. It's... It's me again. Hmm. Mr. Faber. There you are. <laughs> are you that stupid? <laughs> are you that dumb? <laughs> Gentlemen. How y'all doing? You doing okay? Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen with VX poison or something along the... Why are you all up in my face, huh? I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm, maybe we can use some of Nox's Octane Booster here. Combine it with magnesium and create a sparkly light show. You okay. seem not to kill, but to distract. Or as an instigation of sorts. Might work. Sounds genius. I suppose the current design is a little conservative. Your idea is interesting, Mr. Faber. Hardly seems like an effective weapon. In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Okay, so... I have to get rid of these guards somehow. So, how would one fit a flamethrower on you? <laughs> Maybe a small one. Jet of fire from the mouth. I like it. A few more iterations of design and you and I might be... You like what you're looking at? Whoa! Calm the fuck down! Hello, boss, huh? Can't say I'm a big fan of the prospect of an android future. I may only be flesh and blood, but I've done all right for myself so far. Yeah. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder what hooking up a truckload of this stuff to a sprinkler system might do. Ooh, that's a good idea. Maybe a neighboring building? A small incendiary device and a timer. Let it burn for a few minutes and then activate the sprinklers. That's genius. How is something like this going to kill anyone? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with something like that. <laughs> is it? Well, do explain to me how. Okay, I think I've seen enough for now. You gonna come back? back later. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. Take these goddamn guards with you, man. Shut the door. <clears throat> Fuck. I've got to get rid of these goddamn guards. Oh, shit. Oh, are you? I should give Knox a discount if he lets me kill Gunslinger Dave in there. Greetings, sir. How's it going? I don't know how I'm gonna do this with his... With his fucking... What you call it? With his goons every fucking where. 
way back. Zukov's older brother. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do! Alright. I need... I need a picture. Oh god. Ah! Okay. So I left. Hey, you. You're armed, right? We need help. Oh shit. Oh shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh god. Am I good? Oh. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to go in there. Alright, god damn it. Nobody told me. I thought I was allowed to go everywhere. You see me? Huh? I'm like a goddamn, like the boss. I'm the boss around here. Now. I don't have a single clue. What the fuck I'm supposed to do in here? It's a researcher. I can't do nothing to this fucking pen. It acts like I can do something to this, but I can't. Hmm. Should I look up? Close that door. Is that Sean Bean coming back already? What? Fuck! Well, we're fucking this up. We're fucking this up something terrible. Why did you just bust open that fucking door? Huh? Why did you bust open this door? You just wanted to come this way. Give me some better ideas on how to fucking murder you. Alright? Alright. Go fuck yourself. Tell you what. Can I choke you out when he turns around? Damn it, I missed it. Fuck! Perhaps, you know? There's no telling. Anything, anything could happen, to be honest. You know? Anything at all. I really need to take this son of a bitch out. Keep talking, because I'm not getting close to you, bitch. Alright, go in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Metal cabinet key. Oh, I got a key. Nobody would be able to resist the chance to get up close and personal with you. Which makes you... What happens if I unlock this? <clears throat> Don't worry about what that shit is. <laughs> I had my doubts seeing this initially. But this could be just what I'm looking for. Oh yeah? What about what about this? And this? <laughs> is this what you're looking for? Um Where's the fun in taking out someone with this thing? In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Okay. So I think I found the detonator to this thing. So I just need to time it right. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Oh, I'm gonna keep it fucking warm. I'm gonna keep it warm. Now, once he leaves, I'm gonna play around with some of my new ingredients. And I think once he starts walking around. Once he walks back over to this thing, I should be able to just blow this motherfucker up. Excuse me, sir. Um, it's a private, private show in here. I don't need you to be watching. All right. Inventory. Coin. Bag of gunpowder. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Like, maybe this is just a damn... I can't use it with anything. 
What are you looking at, bitch? I slapped the shit out of you, robot. Um... Alright, so I can't do nothing with the gunpowder. Bomb detonator. Detonate bomb. There's no way! Is there a way? Could this possibly be it? I wanna read. Remote detonator. Yep. Yep. That's it. That is it. Now, there's no way to... To what you call it? To... Because I can't do anything with this. Like, if I click it and stuff, like, nothing's happening. So I can't mix this with the gunpowder. <laughs> ah! No fucking way! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Despite my best effort to quickly hit Alt F4 after fucking up so, so terribly, apparently I failed the fucking mission. I was trying, I think, I think I figured out how the fuck to kill the dude, but I was trying to put down the octane booster onto the fucking table so that I could maybe try to mix it with the fucking gunpowder. And apparently this shit explodes. Oh, that was too fucking funny. But I'm a little bit salty. I'm not going to lie. Apparently this mission to undying is true. This motherfucker, he survived. He survived. Fuck you, Ned Stark. All right. I always liked you and shit, but you can eat a dick. Jesus. Anyways, look. Drop a like for my paint. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm fucking embarrassed. I don't know when the next one of these comes out, but I'm going to try not to fuck it up next time. And if I was on the right track and you did this the correct way, let me know. But that sucked. That fucking sucked. Kiss my ass. Damn it. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.